So today we're going to find out how to uh, become an observer in our child's Canvas LMS courses. And so from this main screen, and the way you get to this screen is this URL right here. And just make sure you have that URL to get to this main screen. Um, it has a link up here at the top where you can log in as a parent to become an observer. But first you have to log in to your child's account first to get a pairing code. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. So go ahead and log in. You can log into your child's account from this screen or you can log in uh, through their single sign-in page. So we're going to go ahead and log in to their account. And if you need their password and their, um, their password and their username, please contact their teacher and they will give you that. So I'm going to look at the first course, uh, Language Arts here in sixth grade. Um, let's go ahead and get into it because that's what course I want to make sure that I'm looking at for my daughter. Make sure uh, I'm observing her, um, her activities within this course. Once I click on it, I have to go to the account. And once I click on the account, I'll go ahead and click on settings. And when you click on settings, to the right you will see a button that says pair with observer. And so you're going to click on that pair with observer. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can copy and paste this code here. And so I'm then going to go back to the main sign in page to that URL that we were just at a second ago. I'm going to parent of a Canvas user. I'm going to click on this account. I'm going to type in my name, my email address. Password. I'm going to re-enter my password. Then I'm going to paste the pairing code. And then I will agree to the terms and I'm going to hit start participating. Give it a second to log in. So this is our parent sign-in. Um, let's see, I'm going to save. And so now I am an observer in my child's account. Um, here's my child's account. And so now I'm a, an, an observer. And so now when I go back to that page and I want to, um, let's see, I want to log in. I'm going to log in with my email address. And then I'm going to log in with the password that I um, put in there um, just a second ago when I signed up. And let's see if it'll log me in. And yes, it did. And so it just logged me into her account. And I can tell up here, it has my name up here. It'll tell me my name right up here. So now I am an observer in her account. An observer, uh, there's a few benefits with being an observer. And so here are some of the benefits of being an observer in my child's account. So when you're logged in as an observer, you can see the calendar. Here's the calendar. You can see what's due and what's, um, what to do for your child. So you can kind of see the information on their calendar. So you kind of have a heads up of when a quiz is taking place, when a prompt is due, when a project is due. So you can view that calendar. You can see the work. If you go back to your dashboard, um, you can see the work um, when you look at modules. So you can kind of see the work that has been completed and hasn't been completed by clicking on it. So you can see those um, as well. Um, you can view course announcements and so you can also view the announcements if there's any announcements um, that the teacher has put out there and here's a link to each quarter for, for this uh, teacher. You can preview documents and course pages and we just looked at that when we previewed. You can preview files here. We have a lot of files that you can actually preview. I like to look at modules for my daughter and just to see the, the, the different units of study that, that she's um, going over so I can see the different um, course parts. You can also see, uh, let's see, you can see the grades as well. Once the grades, uh, once the, the teacher starts grading um, certain assignments, you can see those grades as well. You can message the teachers, but you cannot message any students. So you can message the teachers through the inbox here. 
Um, and so you can look at the courses that you want to message and you, you can go ahead and send a message. You can start a conversation up here and send it to the teacher. Now what you can't do in the courses, it, be an observer, you can't submit assignments for your child, you can't take quizzes, you can't join course groups, you can't see course discussions, and you cannot send messages, and we just talked about that, you cannot send messages to students. I hope this helped um, kind of get you into to, to become an observer in your child's Canvas courses.